controlled by the LSU Tigers and they'll go to work on offense and they pick apart the Missouri defense on the first position Frank gets fouled in the backcourt by an aggressive Morrow you take a look at the starting five for Mizzou they are down two starters due to injury they have two freshmen in the starting five including Grace Slaughter and Hannah Linthicum. Mama Dembele is at the point. Ashton Judd is number two in scoring. And we mentioned Haley Frank. Well, ready for LSU. You're seeing the player to player defense. A quick foul for Anissa Morrow. That is something to keep your eye on because of matchup issues against this Missouri face up offense. One and done on that end. And here comes Van Lith the other way. Morrow scored the first basket. She picked up the game's first foul. Williams back to Van Lith. Starting five for LSU. Blase Johnson had 20 points in her last game. Angel Reese had 20 rebounds in LSU's last game. She gets her first points of the game, and it's an early 4 0 lead for LSU. Dembele to Frank. Morrow has the lean back after picking that early foul. LSU worked a lot against the matchup zone, looking to overload and get the matchup they want down in the paint. Reese off balance, can't get it to go. Morrow hits the deck hard. She's slow to get up, and here comes Dembele. They will run, and they are a good three-point shooting team, and Judd answers with the three. I was kind of hoping that on Dress Like Kim Mulkey night, Kim would throw a curveball to everybody and come out with a conservative <laughs> look tonight, but I think we know better. Johnson, 20 points her last game. Gets her first two of this game. Frank trying to find Judd. LSU turning teams over. Well, and Robin Benson talked about it. She said, we got to keep them off the free throw line. But she said it's remarkable that they're getting almost 50% of their points from the paint. She said it's also remarkable that almost 50% of their total points is coming on second chance opportunities and off of the opponent's turnovers. And you see Mizzou in that five-out motion offense looking to exploit matchups and mismatches for Haley Frank for three. <laughs> <laughs> A career 42% three-point shooter. Morrow, Frank, look for the call, didn't get it. There's Dembele. Dembele with the bounce, a little too late on it. Plage Johnson there on the steal, and here comes LSU in transition. Johnson to the basket with the finger roll. Averaging 19 points a game over the last two games, coming on offensively for the Tigers. Frank Morrow extends the defense. Shot clock down to six. Grace Slaughter, three-point shot has been key. This is a team that's still looking to develop chemistry on both ends of the floor. Morrow, perfect from the field. Another turnover, that's number six for Mizzou. Johnson, good finish. And that is where I think Flage Johnson is at her best, in transition. She's so smooth. She creates so well. But the key for Mizzou is, as good as this offense is for LSU, they have to make them score in the half court. That three won't drop. 12 points off of those Missouri turnovers so far for LSU. Reese in deep, spins inside for two. And that's what LSU wants to do. They want to get Frank in the paint and go at her one-on-one -on -one and try to get her out of this game due to foul trouble. You are keeping your eyes on paint points. 14 of the 18 points for LSU so far in the paint. And this is an LSU ball club that averages 50 paint points a game. Oh, Mama! Freshman playing for Mizzou here today. Johnson open three. Michaela Williams with the rebound. Mizzou's been hanging in there on the glass here in the first quarter. Johnson on the drive, second chance opportunity. Yeah. 
tough shot. The freshman follows it up. Shrek. And lift. Entry. Reese. No. Reese. No. Reese. Morrow, rather, couldn't grab it. And here comes DeBelly. Missouri with the push. Slaughter with the nice finish for LSU. Williams. Van Lift turned it over. Abby Fight was in the passing lane. Dembele with the push. Dembele to the hoop. Offensive counted. And the foul. And Mama is so good in transition. And once she gets into the paint, you see her just going. And I like the call because I think she was airborne before Haley Van List slid in there. And I know we're starting conference play. And maybe some of you are coming down from football season in the fall season. The restricted arc does not exist in women's basketball. So it's on the court. It's there for the men. They don't take it away for the women's games. But with Van Lith in there, just ignore that. It is an invisible line for women's hoops starting here in the 2023-2024 season. And Hilke Fedrape is on for Missouri, another freshman. Three-pointer won't drop. Angel Reese comes away with it. And Olympicum back into the game. Shot clock is off. Game clock down to 10. Williams with five. Lost the handle. Threw it away. Here comes Mama with Williams back, but doesn't get a shot off in time. And that is the end of the first quarter. But Mizzou certainly hanging tough in this tough environment. Full house, a loud crowd here at the PMAC. Maybe Kim will come out and present the winning jacket before the start of the second half. I think a lot of that will depend on how well her team plays in the second quarter. They're up by one as we start that second quarter. Haley Frank back into the game, wasting no time, watching a three and draining a three. Well, that was great execution out of the timeout for Mizzou, setting those double down screens on the weak side for Frank to come around and get that look. Key for LSU against this matchup zone. The ball can't stick. They need to move it quickly. And then, especially on reversals, they can go inside. Frank staying straight up, not trying to pick up a second foul. Tough shot from Morrow. The rebound to fights. Mizzou with their first lead since the opening minutes of the game. They fell behind by seven. Bit of a three-point heat check for the Tigers. She was pumped. She turned around when that came out of her hand, and she saw it go down and gave a big yell to this big crowd here at the PMAC. That one rolls in. Four more. We're going back to Frank. Frank struggled in the game against LSU last year. Only three points and constant foul trouble. you got to believe in her fifth year she has something to prove against the LSU Tigers. Mama getting after it and getting the steal. Poa back on defense. DeBelle finds the trailer. Fights. Who gets it? Count it. And, and here is Abby Fights. He finishes up the three-point play. Mizzou, the number one free throw shooting team by percentage in the SEC at 76%. For the first time in the game, Mizzou extends that pressure. LSU worked on it. and slice. No team gets to the line more than LSU, and LSU has yet to attempt a free throw, Reese, with the bucket. Well, I think some of it is the zone that Mizzou is running. It's also Mizzou's been doing a great job of trying to keep LSU. Mama read it all the way, came away with it, and finishes. Like you said, it's the maturity, it's the comfortability. Was in Columbia this offseason, and she says her confidence is sky high from her ability just to work with her team throughout the offseason. Mizzou up by three. LSU has yet to hit a three-pointer. Mama! And that's going to be an offense. Well, that was last year, Poe. 18th drawn charge on this season. So good at reading angles and taking things away from opponents. Morrow sets the screen for Van Lip. Frank knocked it away. Turnover LSU. Dembele up ahead to the freshman slaughter. What a play by Johnson. Hustling back for the block. Williams dropped down the race, counted, and the foul. She won't get an assist, 
But Flauge Johnson may have made the best defensive play of the season so far for an LSU team that's been trying to find their way defensively. Well, I've mentioned how good Flauge is in transition. I was referring to offense, but there's the defense. Huge block that stops the easy two from Rizzo. Then that allows LSU to get out and run. They got numbers, and Reese gets two feet in the paint like that. She's going to finish. Huge turnarounds. Looked like it was going to be an easy layup for Mizzou. Instead, it's a chance for a three-point play. And Reese converts. Crowd getting loud here in the second quarter. Merrick, that last foul on Haley Frank, her second of the game. Robin pinching the side to keep her in here. There's a block by Van Lip. Five to shoot for Mizzou. The chance is LSU, four on the shot clock. Frank heaved it up. Here's Van Lith, all the momentum right now with LSU. Van Lith gets it to go. ISO play for Frank there. Great defense by LSU. Frank for three. Much needed and quiets the crowd here at the PMAC. 11 points for Frank. Three of six from outside the three-point line. Williams off the mark so far. 0 for 4. Now does Mizzou slow things down a little bit? Well, one thing they got to do is take care of the basketball. That's their ninth turnover. Van Lith on the pull-up. Off the mark. Reese kept it alive and a second chance here with Johnson. Johnson, tough shot. She makes the gets the game one. Johnson into double figures. Ten and holding. Rebound for Olympic. They don't have a lot of depth. They played just six so far here in the first half. Kim it's been a high energy game. Dembele, beautiful finish. That is the second personal foul on Haley Van Lip, so she'll go to the bench with the two. Poa back on for LSU. And this is a lineup for four games. LSU rode with while Haley Van Lip was out, just recovering from an injury. And so they're used to this. But Kim Mulkey said yesterday, I believe and I've got true seven players who that eighth might be on any night is still to be determined. Reese in a crowd. She would be one of those players in the backcourt playing the two, but could also play the one. Quadruple header here on the SEC Network, also on the ESPN app, featuring 6 Eastern Time, 5 Central, 22nd rank Ole Miss. Made a fake, made the extra pass. Judd can't get the three. Poe the rebound. Frank back on defense. Again, to your point, does LSU try to attack her here in the half court? Well, and now Mizzou is in player to player, so I would love to see them try to get Angel Reese the ball down low. Morrow, soft touch on the turnaround. Two minutes to go here on opening night in the SEC. Between LSU and Mizzou. Slaughter. Tough shot. Mora was there with the defense to get the block. The drop a back on for Mizzou. Judd with three. She's got to put something up. And it's going to be a traveling violation turnover. And that is something I was looking at for Mizzou in this game because in their losses this year. Rouge was two years ago, January of 2022, LSU. That would be the Mulkey effect. <laughs> An LSU team that's in the top 10 right now. Final minute of the first half. Frank does such a great job of reading how the defense plays her. At that time, there was a switch, so she flared out. And now it's going to be a foul on the freshman. Now they have a 91% free throw shooter because she's had already some memorable games in her first year playing in her home state. Shrek short on the three. 
Williams has plenty of time. Takes a look at the clock. Tries a three, and it won't go, and that will be it for the first half. Missouri 5 of 16 from outside the three-point line. Big part of their offense in the early going. Cooled off as the half went along. LSU still looking for their first three-pointer. Christy mentioned the paint points. Turnovers always going to be a big story when you're taking on LSU. Let's see how the second half unfolds. First possession in the quarter belongs to LSU. The set play by LSU coming out of the break. Well defended by Mizzou. Angel Reese. The defense does not stop till you or your teammates get the ball. That means no fouling, and that definitely means trying to keep her off the glass. Reese played all 20 in the first half, as did Morrow, as did Johnson. Some interesting plays defensively and some strong plays defensively by an LSU team, and Kim Mulkey has talked about it in the past weeks, about how this team isn't where they need to be defensively. Case in point, Missouri goes to work on the offense. That's just an example of how well Coach Mizzou is. You know they talked about that play at halftime. Each time they're playing timeouts, they've come out and they've executed. you got to steal points anytime you can, and that's what Mizzou is doing. Morrow can't get it. Reese has the offensive rebound. Reese steps inside for two. Linthicum. Slaughter. Back off for Linthicum. 1,000-point score, 1,000-point rebounder playing at Jefferson City High School. Coming off her career best 20 points in 20 minutes against Kansas City. Johnson on the cut. Williams found it. Frank and Dembele go down. Frank gets the look for three. Williams has the rebound. Williams. Robin Pynchon is out near half court here after they went to the monitor. So it will be Frank that shoots the free throws. And when you say anybody on the Missouri team can take the free throws, it's going to be Haley Frank, who's number one in the SEC right now at 89%. To the officials right now. Triple down screen again for Haley Frank. Open for three. Big shot for Frank. That's a five-point swing for Mizzou due to that foul. Morrow on the turnaround for two. Judd, tough pass. Williams with the steal after the Missouri turnover. Williams for three. Eric, I told you at halftime, it's not if but when Michaela Williams gets going, and that's just a great example of just how prolific a score Michaela Williams is for this program. First three, four, LSU. Keep going, keep shooting. Find that stroke. Score's got to shoot. And that's one thing Kim Mulkey has said to me. She goes, Michaela Williams can get her shot at any Johnson with 15, Reese with 15, Morrow with 14, another turnover for Missouri. Johnson in transition to the basket. Catch! LSU has picked up their defense, forcing three turnovers. That's allowing them to get out in transition, and I have said it. Flage Johnson is at her best when she can get out in transition, but I stand corrected as well because she can also knock it down from deep. And Kim Mulkey, she knows it. Second 10 nothing run of the game for LSU. They had an 8 nothing run at the end of the half, scored the first two of the second half. That was the first 10 nothing run. Now they're on an 11. She's been the one talking to her teammates to get out and now get the steal. Morrow can't finish, and Van Lith can't control it. Those Tigers, you know, I, but <laughs> I wouldn't screw up the Tigers today. Out of the timeout by Missouri. It's a rebound for Van Lith. Off the miss. Well, the big part of this quarter already, nine points off turnovers for LSU. And somehow, some way, that made it. Angels like Flaget, that still goes in the books as an assist for you. Could have been a turnover, but I'm a good teammate. 19-point <laughs> lead for LSU. 
Dembele splits defenders again in the first half. Her stat line, eight points, five rebounds, four assists, and four steals. They need a little bit more of that sizzle here in the second half. And Lift's been quiet. Frank on the turnaround. No, and Angel Reese has the rebound. That's her seventh. I thought Frank rushed that shot, and that's what the shot blocking ability of LSU will do to you. You think you got don't have enough time, and you rush it. Morrow's going to get called for the offensive foul. Is anything, and obviously I know Kim Wolk is not happy with it. And on the other end, Abby fights. Watch the lob there for Reese. Back to Van Lith. Open three is good. Bele goes to the left. No. Johnson with the rebound. Three bodies back on the floor, back behind the play. And I think Robin Pinchton just got a technical. So she gets teed up here. So the belly went down. The question is, obviously the LSU player is a trip, but how did Dembele go down? And that's what Robin Pinchton was asking. And Williams rejected. Good defensive play by Fight. Scramble for the basketball. Reese gets on the deck. Then Lift out of the scramble. Can't make the three. Reese tapped it to Johnson. He scored 29 points in the third quarter. We still have two and a half minutes to go in the quarter. Great save by Johnson to Van Lift. Back behind the play is Morrow. Sixteen for Morrow. Eight nothing run for LSU. Look how Morrow got out on that hedge and was able to get back, but better read by Frank the curl. Van Lith, the entry to Reese. Johnson couldn't get it, and the rebound for Fight. Mizzou will have numbers if they push. There's Shrek, got Van Lith in the air, but couldn't finish. Four rebounds, five assists for Haley Van Lith. Play quadruple header starts at noon Eastern time. Kentucky and Tennessee meeting in Knoxville. You see shoes, just different. Shot clock off. Final seconds of what's been an outstanding quarter for LSU offensively. 31 points here in the quarter. Morrow trying to add to it, and she'll have a chance to add to. Had an amazing two years with the Paul. Steps into Dang. piled up the double doubles, nine on the season, leading the team in steals, leading the team in blocks, entering play here tonight. It has looked like a seamless transition, but I know it hasn't been that easy. You know it wasn't easy? That quarter for Mizzou. They are outscored 32 17 in that quarter. And LSU pulling away here at the PMAC. A lot of Haley Van Lith in that third quarter with Morrow and Reese. Not antagonistically, but just it drove up the competition on both sides. Reese and Johnson, the established players for that LSU team, being challenged by these newcomers. And it's all fit together so far. Fight for three. And that's what I took from our conversation with Kim Mulkey today is that you have some super competitive kids who want to be the best they can be. Offensive. Frank spins inside for two. And he cranked up to 20 points. And, Eric, those have been hard-fought points here this evening. Back out Williams. Williams reverses it up. Count it. Uh, speaking of hard-fought points, Michaela Williams, little pass fake to get the angle to get by her own defender, hangs in the air, little reverse pivot, but it is the soft kiss off the glass with the finish. I told you, not if. 
but win with Michaela Williams. Filling up the highlight reel for South Carolina. Great slaughter. Playing a big, important role as a starter for this Missouri team as DeBelli scores. Ten scores in the SEC, and four of them were freshmen. And it's around the country. I mean, this freshman class is just remarkable throughout. 16 assists for LSU as a team tonight. Well, Missouri four for four from the field to start the second half. They're going to need a handful of stops here to get back into this game. There's one. Can they stay hot from the field? Judd, offensive foul. Poet, her fourth personal foul. Rajay Johnson knew she missed it. Second chance here for LSU. Reese with the rebound, so she's got another double-double, and Johnson makes the most of her season highs for the sophomore from Savannah. And now the steal. Morrow will head to the free throw line. Angel Reese, seven double-doubles this year, 41 in her LSU career. They have kept pretty good distance on Missouri. That one is off the mark. Frank will come back into the game next dead ball. Johnson, tough take, the finish for two. That's Abby Shrek. Inside of five minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Been all LSU in the second half. The run that really started at the end of the second quarter. Smith went down with her season ending injury. And that's what I keep talking about with Morrow. She was given the opportunity and she has shined in her role. Concern. You mentioned Smith, very important player in their rotation. Should LSU be concerned about their numbers? Well, I think the very first minute of the game tells you why. That's the thing, that margin of error for the post for LSU, they only have four bodies in the post. And so Morrow, Reese, have to avoid foul trouble, have to be able to stay on the floor. Del Rosario is a valid 6-5 post for them, but against an offense like Mizzou, Kim Mulkey wasn't happy. Angel Reese working hard on the glass to get the put back. 19 and 12 now for Angel. Frank took it away from Van Lift. Frank open for that offensive rebound. Morrow can't get it. And a foul is going to be called at half court. Getting better. She's in tremendous shape from when she from where she was when the season started. She just needs more game action. Tomorrow night right here on the SEC Network. LSU is ranked third in the preseason rankings. They'll be here at the PMAC. So it's a double-double now for Morrow. She's got 23 and 10. That's her ninth. And Morrow scores again. Mama, good defense by Van Lip on the floor with the four fouls and still playing the good D. Reese to the hoop, to the free throw line. Ten total double-doubles at LSU now for Morrow. 63 in her career, remember. She piled up. <laughs> May have been the hardest worker on the floor tonight. You just saw her fighting for everything. The movement, staying in a stance, her closeouts. I thought the defense was really good by LSU. Poa off the window for two. Sarah Linthicum out to Haley Frank. Frank can't get the three. Fight offensive rebound. I think it's already the expectations of, because of how talented that young lady is. And a foul. And Amani Bartlett. Three for Shrek. And then the offense went to work from there. Three go for 20 or more. LSU puts 92 on the board. Three points under their scoring average. But in the SEC opener, it's a 20-point win for the Tigers.